And welcome back to The Daily Wrap. Let's read some of your viewer comments. First up, we asked you if Donald Trump was treated unfairly during last week's debate, and a bunch of you said yes. Our first comment is from Kitty, who says, yes, Fox treated Trump unfairly. Why didn't Fox ask Carly about being fired so viciously since they were asking personal questions? Carl? Renata seems to agree, saying Donald Trump got the toughest questions, and his answers were clear and understood even by those without a business background. I would trust him with our economy and the mess at our borders. He is a breath of fresh air. Well, Yeager says, yes, Trump was treated unfairly. I was always a fan of Megyn Kelly, but it seems she had a real dislike for Trump prior to the debate and tried to achieve a Katie Couric gotcha moment. Carl? Carol says, I think Trump was treated unfairly. I thought the questions were unfair. I think that Trump can turn this country around. We are in dire need to make America great again. Trump has the understanding of how to get this economy going strong. Again, go Trump. And finally, Vicky says, I do think that the questions asked to Trump by Megyn Kelly and Brett Baer were unfair and had nothing to do with politics and the way that the U.S. is being run. Now, guys, I got to tell you, I look at all the comments. It's not like we cherry picked only those people who felt a certain way. There were no other comments supporting <laughs> Megyn Kelly and Fox. That's true. I, I, you know, I, I, I tweeted out in support of Megyn Kelly. I don't think it was that bad. So uh, I think Trump handled it. Okay, the blood comment, unwarranted, but I think he... Uh, well, he was amazing. He was really quick on his feet in response yeah. to that question. He I mean, was. He totally derailed, really, the whole litany that she was... Except, the yeah. prosecutor was on the roll, right, yeah. right, and right. he took it and had the crowd, like Gladiator, he won the crowd, which was pretty good The Rosie O'Donnell comeback. He, that, that's yeah. my I mean, point. The Rosie O'Donnell thing worked. Yeah, that, that it was, was great. Yeah. Right. But Heather, nobody you know, did it bother you at all that he, in essence, pinned it all on everybody do, being too politically correct? I don't think that that kind of language has anything to do with political correctness. It has to do with basic human behavior and decency. I agree with that. And I think that, listen, I, you know, he's called men dogs as well. I don't <laughs> think that it is necessarily a, a chauvinistic thing, but he, I don't think he has a lot of respect for women. I don't think that anything that he has done has evidenced a lot of respect for women. And I think that the way that he has carried on, rather than rising above it, the comments that he made about Megyn Kelly, his, his visceral reaction to go after her, there were two men that were asking him questions that were equally perhaps offensive right. to him. I mean, Wallace asked him about his finances. You'd think he would take that a little bit more personally since he prides himself on and being this none of us are talking yeah. about that. Oh, that's right. It's I all think, about him going after Megyn I think Kelly. Trump has more respect for, the, uh, for women than he does for the GOP right now. That's an interesting uh -huh. thing. It is. And yet, you know, I, I got to say it. We can sit here and talk about yeah. this. I can complain about Donald Trump. Doesn't matter. But he hear, sure didn't lose anything. No, in you, the hear, polls. you hear from the viewers. We just yeah, mentioned you the just heard them. A lot of America believes the United States is on fire and they want someone yeah. to put it out with a hose. Well, and for better or worse, Trump is the man who's challenging the establishment. And when you ask a question about women or war on women, that's not going to address the fire. Right. That's true. We, did, got we, some also, more? Yeah, we also asked you guys, who was the big winner in the, in the last week's debate? JRM says the winner of all the debates would be all the candidates, since none of them were answering the questions. I'm tired of the good old gang. Yeah, you got JRM. Ken says, was that debate last night actually on Fox? I could have sworn it was on CNN or MSNBC based on the obvious bias of certain moderators on there. Megyn Kelly could have easily have been Rachel Maddow or Candy Crowley, and Chris Wallace could have easily been Chris Matthews. David says, I suspect that the top donors instructed the RNC to tell the other nominees to ga uh, engage Trump while mandating the Fox panel to do it for them. And finally tonight, Tom says, Fox News was miserable last night. They should leave their own agenda at home and next time just use the que questions submitted by Facebook. The moderators seem to just enjoy listening to themselves talk rather than facilitate an event of this significance. I love the comment from the person who said that they could have been watching MSNBC or CNN because you know what? I think that's what is so great about what Fox did. I, I None agree. of us would have expected Fox to come off that way. And if they didn't, they would have been attacked by the left saying that, oh, they give them softball Absolutely questions. Right. So. Absolutely right. It wasn't, right. it wasn't focused on their audience. It was focused on the more global audience, which is as it should be. Let's see if when CNN has the debates, they handle it in a similar way. And when we have the Democratic debates, whether those are handled in a similar way. Right. It would be nice if we saw the same thing across the board for all of those yeah. situations. Let's, Tom, let's, wouldn't you say that had it been another network, and we got the identical questioning 
everybody would be saying, see, that proves liberal bias in the media. And yet it came from Fox, We're, which is what took that argument yeah. away, or at least I would well, have thought Well, which is why Fox is in trouble with, with right. the grassroots base. Again, I think it was the substantive questions and the lead questions was problematic. If we were to let, what are you going to do to solve the economy? Right. What are you going to do to get jobs going? What are you going to do problems? The house is on fire. Instead, the war on women was a bad you think lead we'll, question. We'll, yeah. Do you think, think we'll we, see that next debate quickly? The, yes, absolutely. The, oh, no, I think they're going to go only policy. The left would ask those questions. They got them out of the way. Okay. Remember, if you want to weigh in on any of the issues we talk about here on the show, be sure to go to NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Let us know what you think. We might even read your comment on the air. We just proved it. Coming up next, it's time for yay or nay because this is The Daily Wrap.